Uh-oh. Something's not right with our BMW 540i V8 engine. The other day, I was driving the E39 540i BMW on the highway and it started making a loud, whiny noise. I thought it was one of the pulleys, a water pump had gone, but it turns out it's actually the crank case ventilator off the back of the intake manifold. And it seems to be a common problem that happens with these vehicles. I looked it up online and there's people that have it, but most people suspect it's a loud pulley or a water pump because it sounds exactly like it but that's not the case. So let's have a look at some of the symptoms that happen and you can kind of take it from there and figure out what you need to do. All right, so that's the noise that I was talking about. It sounds like what, a pulley or maybe the water pump. Very, very typical noises like that that you would think it's a bearing starting to fail. But in fact, it's the crankcase vent and here's how you know why. As soon as you pull that out, the dipstick, you can hear a lot of crankcase pressures released. The engine is sucking a lot of vacuum through this, and really that's the hut the way it's supposed to work. It's supposed to come from the back through this vent, and that's why it's broken, so it's, it's closed itself off. So as soon as I put this down, the sound's gonna come back. This is the crankcase vent. Usually inside here is what breaks and it's held on by seven bolts here. So we're gonna see if we can take this off pretty easily. Also, you probably wanna get a gasket. I've ordered this part from my good friends at gutenparts.com. All right, the shop manual says you have to remove the intake manifold to gain access to and replace the valve. But that's a whole nother headache in itself. So I've decided to remove the valve with the manifold on. The trickiest part of this job will be removing the Torx bolts because they're tucked away and hard to access. However, with the right tools, this job's manageable. You'll need a Torx bit and a quarter inch hand ratchet, plus a quarter inch wrench with the bit on the closed end for the really tight to reach bolts. To get started, you're gonna need some light back there. Start by disconnecting any loose hoses you can get your hands on. The large crankcase vent hose is held in place with a crimped clamp, so I tried various destructive methods with different tools to get it off, but failed. I can tell you the best method to remove this is after the valve is off the manifold, so leave it be for now. It's best to start with the easy to access Torx bolts. Mine were incredibly hard to break loose, so be careful you don't strip them. Once the top bolts are out, this is where it gets complicated. You're gonna have to use a mirror tool to locate the lower bolts. Then, you'll have to feel your way around to find the bolts. But patience, my young Jedis, the bolt will find you. Don't worry, cursing and swearing at this stage is encouraged. because these bolts will pretty much drive you mad. I used a longer extension socket that helped add some much needed leverage on the middle Torx bit. Ah, got it. This screw back here is really tough to get at requires having to use this guy, this setup here. That's the only way you're gonna get back there. It doesn't make it any easier to remove though. It's still very difficult. Gotta get some good leverage on it. With the seven torque bolts out, the crankcase vent should be free of the manifold. Now we can pull this thing out. Oh, finally. The crimped clamp can be forcefully removed. No good. Say goodbye to that piece of crap. A little bit more struggling with the hose itself and the valve will be free. 
here's why the valve is kaput. Where there was once a diaphragm, it's all but gone. Don't forget to replace the gasket on the back of the manifold. At this point, you've probably sworn this job off, but the hard part is over. All you've got to do is install the new valve and we're done. So here's the deal. These are the old bolts. They're out. They're a pain in the ass to get in and out. I'm switching over to more conventional socket style bolts, which will help us tremendously and should make the job much easier. Now it's just a matter of getting the bolts back in where they need to go and tightening everything up. I also suggest working on a cold engine rather than a hot one. I unfortunately did that to show you the sound. Oh, and I just dropped my socket. Damn it. When tightening the bolts, be very gentle, use your discretion, because it'll be very easy to strip the thread. So I just finished installing the new crate case vent. Started it up, engine seems to be running well right now, so I think I fixed the problem. All in all, this job's not that bad, but probably as you've seen, it's a little bit frustrating at times and can take about two to three hours to get done. I think it's still worth it considering this is probably a $500 job at a dealership. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial and hopefully it'll save you some money. Oh man, it's so difficult to remove these small items. It just drives me crazy.